your studies so let's begin the last module of this chapter chapter 6 that is bhakti sufi traditions to enrich word vocabulary through important terms to know about chisti in the subcontinent to understand chisti khankas and to acknowledge devotionalism through ziyarat and qawwali to get familiar with the language and communication among sufi and its states and at last to analyze the concept understanding by solving questionnaire so let's begin with some of the keywords mentioned in the book first word is kalandar kalandars among the saint are those person who may enjoy freedom from the ties and bound of time and space next word is prophet a person regarded as an inspired teacher or proclaimer of the will of god is called prophet last word is ziyarat ziyarat is a form of pilgrimage to a holy place tomb or shrine iranian and south asian muslim use the word ziyarat for both hajj pilgrimage to makka as well as for the pilgrimage to another site such as visiting a holy place So let's begin with the interesting topic of the module and that is the chisti in the subcontinent. So who are these chistis and when they migrated in India? These migrated around 12th century in India and they equally adopted the environment as well as followed some of the Indian devotional tradition. Thereafter we find that these chisti they also settled in the khankas. They have also established several khankas very popular one is Sheikh Muhyiddin Chisti's khanka which were very popular basically in the khankas several rooms used to remain with the big hall all the visitors and outsiders they used to stay in those rooms and used to pray for long time The Chisti accepted donation in the cash and kind rather than accumulating donations they prefer to use these fully on immediate requirements such as food clothes living quarters and ritual necessities when the turks set up in delhi sultanate they resisted the insistence of the ulmas and imposing to siara as a state because they were anticipating the opposition from the subject the majority of whom were non muslim the chistis in the subcontinent the chistis most influential group which migrated to india they adopted successfully to the local environment and adopted several features of indian devotional tradition let us see the life in chistis khanka khankas were basically the center of social life sheikh nizamuddin basically situated a khanka in the river bank of yamuna in the place gaspur there he comprised several small rooms and big hall in khankas Here we find in Khan Kas basically Sheikh Nizamuddin family member his attendants and disciples used to stay Sheikh used to live small room on the roof of the hall whereas a veranda surrounded with the courtyard and boundary wall run around with the complex on one occasion fearing a mongol invasion people from the neighboring area flocked into the Khan Ka to seek refuge Apart from this inside the khanka we find a open kitchen which is also called as langar from morning till late night people from all walk of life came seeking the simple ship amulets for healing and intercession of the sheikh in various matter visitors basically included all the poet such as amir hasan says amir khusro and the court historian that is giyasuddin barni let's discuss about next topic that is chisti devotionalism we find that towards the path of devotional in sufis there were several patterns which were introduced among these were ziyarat very popular one then is qawwali so let us know what is ziyarat ziyarat is basically the tomb of sufi saint which is established where the practice of sufi spiritual grace is being created and to increase the path of devotion they increased this kind of practice very popular one is khwaja muhyiddin chisti which is popularly known as garib nawaz and now moving toward the another part of devotion was qawwali qawwali basically is a form or performance of song which is sung on the name of god allah and there very popular one we find at the time period of 12th and 13th century amir khusro he was a great poet musician as well as devotional and disciple of sheikh nizamuddin aulia 
and he promoted qawwali the form of worshiping of god in the form of music and song so this is the way of chisti devotionalism which was very popular around 12th to 13th century in india chisti's devotionalism ziyarat and qawwali ziyarat pilgrimage to the tomb of sufi saint for seeking spiritual grace of sufi saint for more than 7 centuries people of various creed class and social background have expressed their devotion at dargah of five great chisti saint these were sheikh muhyiddin siji khwaja qutubuddin bakhtiyar kaki sheikh farquddin ganje shakar and sheikh nizamuddin aulia sheikh nasruddin chirag e delhi around 16th century shrine became very popular spirited singing of pilgrim made akbar to visit the tomb he went there 14 times and each of his visits is celebrated as a generous gift also part of ziyarat is used for music and dance including mystical chants performed by special trained musician called qawwals the sufi remember god either by reciting the zikr that is divine names or evoking his presence through sama that is audition or performance of mystical music let us see the type of language used by the sufi saints in india for the mode of their communication here we find in delhi during the time period of chisti the chisti silsila associators they basically communicated in the language of hindi and some of the poem which is being composed during the time period of 17 and 18th century in india were written in urdu language now moving towards the last topic of this that is sufi and states they were not towards the worldly uh, atmosphere not towards the close of the worldly path it means they accepted the kindness and donation whosoever they find needy one immediate on the spot they used to help them out by giving them clothes food language and communication sama was the chisti's local language and hindi was conversed by the chisti in delhi baba farid composed verses in the local language which were incorporated in guru granth sahib other composed long poems were expressed towards the idea of love by using human love as an allegory the padmavat composed by malik mohammad jaisi revolved around the romance of padmini and ratnasen the king of chittor a different genre of sufi poet bijapur and karnataka these were very popular and these were the short poem in dakkan language sung by women while performing household chores compositions were in the form of lori nama or lullaby and shaadi nama or wedding songs sufi in this region were inspired by pre-existing bhakti tradition of kannad vachanas of langyats and marathis let us know more about sufi movement and popular sufi saints of india sufism sufism is a reform movement which originated in persia and became popular in india in 12th century ad the followers of this movement called sufis the word sufi has been derived from the arabic word suf which means wool and was used symbol of simplicity and silence protest against the growing of luxurious of the world the sufi protested against the materialism of the khalifas as a religious and political institution they turned insisted towards asceticism and mysticism sufism preached that god can only be reached through meditation love and devotion the sufis opposed rituals and were tolerant towards other religions the sufis were organized into 12 order or silsilas the word silsila means chain signifying a continuous link between the master and the disciple the master or the leader of order was called as sheikh in arab or peer and mushrid in persian the chisti silsila is the most important sufi order in india as they accepted successfully to the local environment and adopted features of devotional tradition of india some of the most important sufi saints of india were khwaja muhyiddin chisti baba farid and nizamuddin aulia khwaja muhyiddin chisti came to india around 1192 ad and settled in ajmer 
He prays that greater form of devotion to the God was through service of humanity. He dedicated his entire life to the service of mankind. He thus came to be known as Garib Nawaz or protector of the poor. He encouraged singing of devotional song and qawwali at gathering. Khwaja Muhyiddin Chisti passed away in 1235 AD. The place of his burial at Ajmer is an important place of pilgrimage. Baba Farid was disciple of Khwaja Muhyiddin Chisti. He prays that God is one and the importance of brotherhood. He encouraged people to live in simple life. He composed many verses in Punjabi which were recited both in Hindus and Muslims. Sultan Balban was devotee of Baba Farid. Nizamuddin Aulia was popular saint who came from Badayu and settled down in Delhi. He became the disciple of Baba Farid. He was against class and caste distinctions he was popularly referred as mahboob e ilahi or beloved of god by his devotees his dargah at delhi is visited by both hindu and muslim saint nagor andavar belonged to 16th century he was popularly known as miran saheb and qadir wali The Kanduri or festival celebrated at Nagor is attended by the people of all religion. The darga or shrine at Nagor is dedicated to him. Hindu influences are seen in architectural style of darga and ritual performed such as applying of sandalwood paste, giving prasadam and tonsuring of the head. The Sufi movement tried to end exploitation of the masses by priestly class. The movement created awareness about evils of superstitious belief. The Sufi saint taught that there is only one God and all human beings are his children. They emphasized on leading a pure life and serving the poor and needy. They condemned rituals and sacrifices. Hindi, Punjabi, Bengali, Kannada, Telugu and Tamil literature were enriched by Sufi saints. Let us recall in short all the points that we have covered in this module. So that is the end of the chapter dear children remaining chapter going to begin very soon till then stay happy stay healthy now it's time to do some question f first question is which of these was the part of chisti worship dance music qawwali or all of these next question is which of the following practices in chisti khanka represents attempts to assimilate local traditions bowing before sheikhs offering water to visitors shaving the head of initiates yogic exercise first option is first and second is correct second option is only first third option is first second and fourth are the correct option or the last option is all of above are correct last question is who is ulama options devotee of shiva devotee of vishnu muslim sufi saints or a scholar of islamic studies answer all these questions in comment thank you for watching